Welcome back everybody, today we're here to talk about The Walking Dead World Beyond Season 1 Episode 5 titled Madman Across the Water. I thought the episode was okay, there was some stuff that I really did like and then uh, there were some problems as well that we're going to be discussing. We'll, we'll be discussing everything in this video so if you haven't seen a general spoiler warning um, and then for those who have seen it, let me know in the comments down below uh, what did you think about the episode. But with that being said, let's get into the review. Alright, so this was Elton's episode. So we learned a lot about Elton and again, um, when I said there was some good and bad, this is definitely part of the good. Um, I really did like Elton's backstory. I liked how we learned um well i i honestly i've liked all the characters backstories that's really been the best part about the show for me um i've talked about this in the past that the plot like what they're actually doing in the day-to-day -day episode or like in their day-to-day -day lives um you know from the episodes they it's not that exciting uh but the backstories are very interesting i like the flashback with elton and i like how the flashbacks are pretty close to the start of the apocalypse like when elton's dad was like there was some police activity around Around the hospital that was really interesting it kind of made you think or made you like wonder like how long things were escalating and how um before like things went really bad and the apocalypse started for elton's case in this story um it was only like a matter of minutes or hours um because it happened pretty quickly in that exact day so that was uh, that was quite a turn i didn't expect it to happen that fast same thing with um felix's flashbacks remember when he was a kid um it was also around that time where the zombie apocalypse started so i do find it interesting of um, i do like how the flashbacks are before the apocalypse but not too far back or anything like that so i felt really bad for elton um especially when he went outside and he saw his dad there that was really sad because it seemed like he had a good relationship with his father i mean it, it seemed like he had a good family you know his mom he was gonna have a sister so just the whole aspect of it was pretty sad. Um, I thought both older Elton and younger Elton did a pretty good job, the actors, um, in this episode as well. So in terms of the actual present day story and what we're seeing our characters do, that's where the problems sort of come in. And I've said this a lot in the past, so I kind of feel like I'm sounding like a broken record. Uh, but I just wish there was more there with the present day story. Like I wish there was something more exciting uh, to watch because the flashbacks are great. Um, but other than that, the characters are just like walking and talking. So I feel like if the present day scenes were um, better, then the show would be a lot more elevated. Things were getting better though in this episode, I will say that, like problem wise for the characters. Like I liked how, um, you know, they were in a time restraint, the walkers are coming after them, the thunder. Um, I did like that kind of stuff. Uh, now one thing that did bother me was some of the scenes, or one scene in particular was like very cartoony. And I don't know, it just felt so off and it felt like a cartoon. Remember when the boat started and then um, I believe it was Huck and Hope, I think, but two people gave each other like a high five. Like the boat started, they were excited and they gave each other a high five and then the boat stopped. And it was like, that just seems so cartoony to me. I don't know why they did that. Um, because like the situation they were in with the thunder and the walkers coming after them, if the boat started, I don't even think you would want to give each other a high five because you still haven't escaped yet. So, I don't know. That, that, that scene just felt super off to me. But I think the show is headed in a good direction. I will say that. Because, again, I did like how they played it up this episode. Rather than just walking and talking, even though there was a lot of that, we had at the end there, we had a lot of walkers coming after them and the thunderstorm. So, I think we just need more stuff like that, but just throughout the entire episode. So, the rest of it doesn't seem like just walking and talking and you're, and you're just waiting for the next flashback or something. Now, I will say I love that scene when Hope saw Elton's mom, like the picture. Oh my goodness, that was an awesome scene. When she made that connection, that was chilling, especially with the music. Especially, I mean, it was definitely because of the music. Uh, I thought the music was so good in that scene, and yeah, it, it kind of gave me goosebumps. It was like kind of very creepy, and it was such a great scene. Um, so very excited to see that uh, come into play later on in the next couple episodes uh, to see Elton's reaction to that. Um, but yeah, that was a really good scene. 
And then at the end there, we had that mystery character. I couldn't really tell who it was. I don't know if it's someone we've seen before or someone totally different. Uh, but definitely interested in seeing this because obviously characters always run into other characters on The Walking Dead, Fear the Walking Dead. But we haven't really seen that yet on The World Beyond. So very interested to see what's up with this guy in the woods. He's by himself, it looks like. So that's also interesting. Um, again, I couldn't tell if you've seen it before or not. So I don't know what his deal is. He had a stick behind him, so maybe he. I'm not saying he. I don't. I don't know if he's a bad guy or anything like that. He, he just has a stick, maybe for protection. Uh, but we shall see. You guys, let me know uh, what do you think about that guy, and let me know what do you think about the episode in general. Uh, that's where the episode did end off. So again, I thought it was a decent episode. Uh, definitely some stuff that I really did like, and then obviously some other stuff that I didn't like. But you guys, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, what did you think about the episode? My Fear the Walking Dead review is up on the channel if you're interested in checking that out but as far as this video goes i am gonna wrap it up there so hopefully you guys did enjoy if you did be sure to leave a like rating for more walking dead videos i just be sure to subscribe and as always thanks for watching everybody please stay safe and i'll see you guys soon